So, Paul, what do you think about Sadiq Khan getting back in? Well, inevitable, I think. Um, it was always going to happen. Uh, not a big surprise. When you think that the, probably the most unpopular politician in the country, by a country mile, has just been re-elected. When you let that sink in for a moment, it's really mind-boggling. It hits home. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye, and it hits home the real problem that we now face here in the UK. I mean, he is the most unpopular politician, bar none, I would imagine. So the big question is, how has he got voted back in and who's voted for him? Well, I hate to go down this route, I really do, but the facts are the facts. The only way that Sadiq Khan has been, has been re-elected is through the Islamist vote. Um, and it worries me greatly for, for a number of reasons. I mean, I would say to any of our Muslim friends watching this today uh, that have voted for Sadiq Khan in London, did you vote for Sadiq Khan because you believe his policies are best? Or did you vote for him simply and strictly from a sectarian viewpoint? And if, if you did, that's really, really scary. And you've only got to look at well, I think at least we've had a quick glimpse on the news um, of what's going on up in Leeds. This is a very, very scary time. Do you really think there's sectarian voting going on? I do, Aaron, I do. I can't see any other reason why Sadiq Khan... Look, let's, let's have it right. He's not one on merit, as he? He's not one because he's made such a great job of London and of being the mayor of London. And I, I, I don't know many people that live in London now. Everyone else has moved out. They all feel like they've been, I'm gonna say it, they all feel like they've been ethnically cleansed from their home city. So I don't know many people that live in London now, but the ones that I do, and they probably number about, I don't know, 15 or 20 or so, not one of them, not a single one of them would have even dreamt of voting for Sadiq Khan. So, who else was voting for him? Um, and I would say it's non-Indigenous Brits, not just the Muslim community, but non-Indigenous Brits, who I believe, I, I firmly believe, are putting religion and um, Middle Eastern politics before what's best for London and for Londoners, of all races, creeds and colours. So we've got Middle Eastern politics now creeping into the, the election of the London mayor. Rest in peace, London. It's over. London is finished. I really can't understand the result. I can't get my head around what on earth it is that people voted for. The world embracing Islam. Comment. Follow us. Please like, subscribe.